Welcome to Mortgage 101. My name is Nathan Rufty, a licensed mortgage professional looking to connect with you and talk to you about purchasing or refinancing a home. Today's topic is going to be what credit score do I need to be able to get a home loan? Now, this is going to be a three part series. One, we're going to talk about credit income and asset is typically what you're going to need for a t uh, traditional lending. Not a, the non-QM or subprime, if you heard of those. This is going to be traditional lending with FHA, VA, USDA, and conventional, which is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Um, these That's what we're going to talk about today is traditional lending and what the credit is for those. So there's two parts of credit. Your credit score and what's in the body of the credit. You can have a lendable credit score. A lendable credit score, FHA will insure a borrower down to a 500 credit score. Credit scores range anywhere between 350, uh, 850 is highest on one of them and then 900 on the other. So it's typically 350 to 850. And if you have a 300 credit score, 400 or 500 credit score, there's something going on with your credit that you need to work on. But FHA as of as I'm doing this video, they used to do down to 350, they would insure a borrower. Now it's down to 500. So you can have a 400 credit score. I've seen those. Uh, there's a lot going on with their credit, but 500 for um, FHA is their minimum that they'll insure. Conventional is a 620, and that's across the board um, on the conventional. Um, USDA, 620, 640. Uh, some lenders will go higher. And I'll get into a different credit uh, rating. Uh, 580 down to a VA. Now, conventional 620, we went FHA, USDA, and VA. Conventional across the board, the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, 620. That's their bare minimum. That's every single lender that's to a 620. Well, lenders will do what's called an overlay on the credit score. You can, FHA will insure a person down to 500, but you need to find a lender that's going to insure that person and fund the loan down to the 500. Uh, a lot of lenders, 580 or above. Some will go 600, 620, 640, 660, or 680 above credit scores. So the lender can set their own minimum credit score. Even though FHA will insure down to 500, you got to find a lender that will lend down to 500. And all the lenders that I have been with is, is 580. Uh, anything below that, there's a lot more going on than the credit score of a 580. So you have your credit score. And credit score is derived on installments, revolving, what's in the body of the credit report, how long you've had open credit. I talk to people all the time. Either I don't want the credit because I don't want the hassle. I got to pay the debt back. I pay everything cash. Unfortunately, in the traditional lending world for purchase or refinance, you need a credit score. The other one is a lot of my, I, were, I was young, I was dumb, I started credit, uh, I got in over my head, I extend, overextended myself and didn't pay stuff back, went into collections, um, so that affected their credit score. So the longevity of you having credit is better. How do you utilize your credit? If you have a limit on a credit card of $1,000, is your utilization of that always at 800 So your credit scores will change every time that you run the credit on um, on the mortgage. So it's a snapshot of what's going on that day. You could have paid that debt off a week ago, but it's not going to reflect in your credit score up to your credit report up to 30 to 45 days. Typically, uh, it can go longer, 60 days, but about 30 days is when that's going to hit your credit and it's going to update. So whatever you do, right now I'm doing this um, uh, in October, October 17th, 10 days into the preceding month gives enough time for the creditors to report to the credit bureaus on what you did in the month of September. So it's always good to run the credit after the 10th or the 11th of the preceding month. Whatever you do in October, we, we don't run your, want to run your credit tomorrow because it's not going to reflect yet. We need to run it maybe after the 10th or the 11th of uh, November to have a good credit score to whatever you did in October will update in November's credit report. So if you're looking to purchase a home or refinance, give yourself that 30 days to pay bills down, um, take care of stuff that your credit score will increase. So you need credit to get credit. There's a lot going on today, rumblings on how they're going to update uh, FICA, how they're going to update the credit scores. Now with the credit scores, you're going to have different credit scores through the different agencies. 
So if you go to a jewelry store, they got their own um, uh, credit scores, which is a credit report, which is credit, uh, credit cards, uh, open store credit. That's different from a mortgage, different from a car credit. You'll even get a different credit score when you go to the free credit bureaus. If you even go to the credit bureaus themselves, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, you would get a different credit score compared to your mortgage credit score. Your mortgage credit score is going to be the toughest credit score. With that being said, the algorithm for a mortgage credit score is totally different than an algorithm when you're applying for a car. You're always going to have a higher credit score when it comes to uh, an installment credit, a jewelry store credit, a Kohl's card, a GM card, uh, even from the bureaus, as I said earlier, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt and give you a higher credit score. When you're applying for a mortgage, and it doesn't matter what mortgage company you're going with, A, B, or C, we're always going to have, not always, we're always we're all going to have the same credit score if you go within that week because we're all drive at the same algorithm. So if you come to me and go, oh, I can get a better credit score with uh, B mortgage company down the street, you're not. If you get a 680 with me, you're going to get a 680 with them. Now, let it update in 30 days. Yes, you're going to get a different credit score. Okay. It can be better. It can be worse. But we in the mortgage industry run a hard inquiry, which means it's going to affect your credit score versus a soft inquiry where it just gives of what's going on with the credit themselves, not the credit score. We need to get a hard inquiry to establish a credit score so we can establish an interest rate and we can establish the program as well as if uh, conventional mortgage insurance. So that's credit score. You have to have credit. Get on somebody's account if you're younger. Get on your parent's account as an authorized user so you can start building that credit score. And then you need to go out and get your own credit. You need to get your own credit card, gas card, Kohl's card, Walmart card, um, Costco card, whatever you need to do. Don't go crazy now. Just open a few credit cards. You have an auto loan, maybe under your name, a couple student loans, maybe under your name. You can even go out and do your utilities as self-reporting on your credit report so you can start establishing credit. And you need to call utility companies and see if they will uh, report. Some of the uh, renters, apartment complexes are starting to, or apartment, apartment management companies are starting to report on the credit bureau. So when you're asking, hey, can you report this on my credit report? Ask how to do that so you can start building credit. If a utility is in your name, that only helps you. Everything today is your credit. What's your credit score? What's your credit score? And when you open up, when you purchase a property, they're going to ask you when you get cable, utilities, all in your name, they're going to ask what's your social number. They're going to pull a credit score. And that's going to determine if you need to put a, a deposit down or not. So if you have a bad credit score, they're going to say, well, you need to put a $200 deposit. I don't like it that they do that to people. Jobs will run your credit scores. But I have to run mine in, my, in the mortgage business. They won't give me um, a mortgage license to do home loans if I have a bad credit they're going to say, nope, can't do it. You may experience that too when in your job, they're going to run your credit for a job. They're going to say, nope, you got bad credit. We don't want you in here just by your credit score. So credit is everything today. Be man mindful of that. Be manageable of your credit. Keep it clean. Have You don't need 10 credit cards. You need two or three at the most. You need a car loan. You need something in your on your credit report so it starts rating and it builds your credit the longevity so if you're a younger individual 18 19 20s uh, early 20s jump on your parents as an authorized user so you can start building that credit then you can go out and get credit yourself and then obviously later on get off your your parents credit card um, so credit scores and then what's in the body of the credit so you can have a lendable credit score of a 680 but what's in the body of your credit score can hamper your ability to, to get a home loan that's open collections judgments, um, charge-offs, stuff that is reporting medical debt. Uh, we have parking people with city parking tickets as a collection on their credit report. Uh, you didn't turn your cell phone in. You got Verizon, Sprint, AT&T collection on a last bill that you didn't pay. Um, you, um, cable bills, people didn't return. Uh, now, this may sound old when we start getting in, when this video goes uh, 
uh, long on the internet where people have cable boxes. I know everybody's going streaming devices today, but people don't return their charter cable box. Um, they're going to get charged for that, or they didn't keep the receipt. They may have returned it, but didn't get the receipt, and they're charged in form that goes in collections. Oh, I, re I took care of that. Or medical. Medical's huge. Um, people think that the medical, uh, the insurance company is going to take care of a bill, um, and they didn't, and people just discard it. Boom, there's a collection on your credit report that's going to reduce your credit score a lot with a collection. So be aware of what's going on with your credit. Oddly, I've been doing this a long time. When I ask people, what is your credit score? People that say it's 780 or above, they know what's going on with the credit. The individual says, I don't know what my credit score is. Oddly enough, that credit is not a lendable credit score because they know what they don't have good credit. And that's just my years of doing this, 30 years of asking people what's going on with their credit. And they tell me, you know who has good credit and who doesn't by what, when I ask that at that point, what's going on with the credit? I don't know. Uh, nine times out of 10, it's below a 600. Okay. Some people say I have a, you know, 640, 680. I'm working on it. They know what's going on with it. If you're young, be aware. You want to purchase a home one day and your credit is going to prevent you from doing that. Work on your credit today. Credit is everything. Don't have any collections. Pay your bills on time. It, it amazes me, and I don't know people's personal stuff, but when there's a minimum balance of $25 payment, they can't make that payment, but they make everything else. Make that payment. Pay it off or don't get into that situation. I know there's job loss and death and divorce. I know all that. I've been doing this a long time, but don't get yourself in that situation where you've overextended yourself. And I, I've just seen it a lot of times where I want to help somebody and everybody in our industry wants to help people. But if they don't take the necessary steps to work on their credit, they're not going to be able to purchase. Or if they are, it's going to cost them a lot of money, bigger down payment and a higher interest rate. Now, what I've done with the clients over the years, I'm sure any professional loan originator will sit, well, not sit down, but talk to the client about, this is your credit report. This is what you need to do. Here is a blueprint. blueprint. Here's a roadmap to increase your credit scores and clean up what's in the body of the credit. Now it's up to you, the consumer, to fix that credit if something's wrong with it. But collection, judgment, somebody sued you, it's on your credit report. Typically, it's a credit card. Uh, you didn't pay it. They took you to court. You didn't show up for court uh, and you lost because you didn't show up. The collection can garnish your wages. Judgments can turn into wage garnishments. That's why we are concerned with judgments. Collections, medical collections, utility collections, uh, parking ticket collections, city stuff. We, we've seen it, parking tickets. So get your credit report, read what's on there. And if there's anything that needs to be cleaned up, clean it up. This gets you in the position to purchase. If you cannot purchase a home or refinance a home now because of the credit score or what's in the body of the credit, let's clean that thing up. We want to get you into a, a home or refinance into a much lower interest rate. I've dealt with many clients and I've told them what to do year after year after year. On They want to refinance, but they're not getting the best deal out there because they do not have the credit score. And that's on them. It's not on, on, on the loan originator. Or the industry, it's on the individuals. Not like I said, I don't know what's going on with the personal life. It's not my business to go on. But if you want to purchase a home or refinance one and you want my help, then I'm. this is what you need to do. Here is your roadmap. Go do it. And I'll follow up with you to make sure you're doing what you need to do. But those are the two things on credit. Credit score and what's in the body of it. As I indicated, if you have a 550, there's a lot going on with your credit. A lot. You need to really sit down and look at that credit and start cleaning it up. Start settling with these collections, these charge off, these judgments. Settle with them so it's off your credit report. Reestablish your credit and increase it. My name is Nathan Refty. I want to thank you very much for listening um, to my podcast. Subscribe. Hit the link below. Subscribe, comment, share uh, on the video um, from YouTube. This is going to transfer over. But I'd like to connect with you. All my contact information is below. My number is 909-503-5600. And if you have good credit, let's talk. If you have credit challenges, let's talk. Let's get you in the position to be able to establish a great home loan. Thank you very much and have a great day.